Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm not sure if this is going on my YouTube channel or my GTV channel just yet, but either way it's a channel, so welcome. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Belle and I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger. And today I will be sharing with you some of my favorite spring trends and just talking about spring fashion in general. So let's jump right in. So one of the first things I think about when I'm thinking about my spring wardrobe is a jacket. Before all the fun colors and print that you get to wear in the spring, it's important to have a jacket because it's not that warm. Um, so I thought that would be a good place to start. So let's start with some jackets. First off is this kimono. I got this kimono from New York and Company and it's part of the Gabrielle Union line. And it's just a great wardrobe piece. Um, it's nice and colorful, it has lovely floral print. Um, and it's nice and it's, it's thick. It's not too thick where it's too hot in the summer but it's also not too light that it's too light for a chilly spring day, if that makes sense. But yes, this is one of my favorite, actually this is my favorite kimono right now. And I just love the length, it's really nice and cute. Um, it actually came with a pair of shorts, I just did not get the shorts because um, it was a little pricey. So um, I only wanted to spend money on the most important piece of that set, so I just got the kimono. Um, also, the, the shorts are a bit of a looser fit and with like a drawstring and I don't think I was really feeling it that much. But yes, I love this kimono. Perfect with like jeans. I love to wear it with jeans and a t-shirt. Um, you can wear, I also wear it with a dress, like a bodycon. Um, but yeah, it's a great piece. I've also worn it with like wide leg pants. I think I, I wore that on Instagram. Like wide leg pants just because I like playing with, um, with shapes. Um, the word I'm looking for with silhouettes and shapes, same thing. Um, so yeah, that's one of my favorites. Um, the next is this piece that I just showed you guys recently on Instagram. I did an unboxing video because um, I got a bunch of stuff from Forever 21 on sale. Um, so yeah, I love a good denim jacket. A denim jacket is like an all year round staple. But I really love this one because of the paint splatter that's on it. I felt like it was a really nice spring touch, perfect for the weather, perfect for the season. It has a little bit of the splatter on the back, but mostly on the front with like the yellow and the pink. I just thought it was really perfect, especially because neon is um, a huge trend this season. I thought this would be like a gentle nod to neon because I'm still not 100% sold on it just yet, but we'll talk about that in a little bit because I, I guess I'm a little bit sold because I have a few neon pieces, but I thought this was great. Um, this is one of those jackets that you can just throw on anything and this will be like your statement piece. And I love that it has a color because then you could, it could play off of some other pieces. So if you're wearing like, let's say a pair of like floral pants that I don't have a good example here. Um, and that can kind of play off. I'm trying to see if I can use this as an example, sort of, sort of. Um, but the splatter can kind of play off of another piece that you're wearing or you could just go really basic and just let this color stand out. Either way, I just love the option. So this is a great piece. It's a pretty bulky jacket and I like a big oversized jacket, but it also has a bit of a cropped effect. So with a bulky jacket, typically it would come a little lower, but this is just, it's pretty big, but it's a little short. I don't know if I'm making sense, but like a bulkier jacket comes, it's bulky and then longer, but this is bulky and short. So it has a bit of a cropped effect with the distressed bottom, which is just really nice and edgy, which I totally love. So enough on that. Next up is a windbreaker. So if you're a, an 80s or 90s baby, I think this is something that you should absolutely have in your closet. Well, not really, but um, this is from Forever 21 as well. Um, and I got this last year and I just love it. It's just nice and it's kind of waterproof So this is great especially for a rainy day if you want you can layer it at the bottom with like a t-shirt Like a longer t-shirt that comes at the bottom that comes that's visible at the bottom um, But yeah, this is just great to throw on some jeans or even some pants if you're if you're into it um, And I love the texture and I'll, I don't know if you can see that it's sort of it has like a metallic feel almost to it and I love it. It looks so rich and so well made. Really great fabric for um, a windbreaker. Um, next is, and I'm probably not gonna get through every single item, but we'll see how it plays out. Speaking of neon, I've actually had this jacket for probably about six years now, and I, I came this close to giving it away. And then next thing I saw that neon was a huge trend, so I'm like, okay, we're keeping it. The only reason why I was gonna give it away is because I'm really into bigger jackets now, and this is a bit of a, a closer fit or a tighter fit, so that's why. But I actually pretty like, I 
pretty like it. I like it. Because <laughs> um, it's nice and it's something you can wear to work or just to go out. A nice open uh, jacket with some ruching at the sleeves. Um, just really cute and neat. It's not like really out there as far as neon, but it's it, it does a trick. All right, um, I'm gonna skip this one because I showed you guys this one before. But since we're talking about neon, let's, let's go there. Let's go there, okay? Now we're talking highlighter neon, okay? Um, this one, I really was just being adventurous and I really wanted to do something neon. I've been seeing neon a lot on the gram and um, you know, I probably won't do that much neon, but I figured, you know, let's throw it in there somewhere and see how we can make it work. So I just got this really basic t-shirt and this is from ASOS and this was like $8. So I'm like, okay, at least I'm not going to spend a ton of money on a trend that I'm not hundred percent sold on. So this is what I ended up with. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to wear it. I don't want to go, I can go really basic and just do it with some skinny jeans and just have like the oversized feel of it with some skinny jeans or I could do it with some shorts. Um, so we'll see, we'll play around with it. You'll probably see an outfit very soon with this t-shirt. Um, next up is one of, actually two of my favorite uh, trends and that's plaid and a side stripe. You don't understand. <laughs> I'm literally obsessed with the side stripe. I feel like it's becoming a problem because I have way too much side striped items right now but um, I feel like you can never have too many. I'm just gonna be in trouble when it's no longer a trend and I have a bunch of side strike things. But it's okay, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But yes, I love plaid just because it's just a really fun way to play with print. Um, and it's nice and preppy too. Like I, I'm, my, I can't really define my style because I feel like I'm all over the place. I'm a little preppy, preppy, a little edgy, sometimes a little feminine. So it's just all over the place, but I really love plaid and I have a few plaid items and this is one of my favorite. Um, it doesn't hurt that it has the side stripe detail too. And I like that it's a fun red, so it's perfect for um, warmer seasons. Um, and yeah, and it has a drawstring. I actually haven't worn this yet but it has a drawstring at the waist. Um, so makes it a tad bit casual. So I'm not sure if this is gonna make it to work or not, but this is definitely gonna be like my everyday kind of going out type um, wear. And I got this from ASOS as well. It's actually from Boohoo, but I think I got it from ASOS because ASOS carries um, some Boohoo items. Next up is another, God, this is really a problem. Another side striped item. Don't judge me. <laughs> Did I mention that I'm wearing a side striped <laughs> pair of joggers right now? Um, but yes, I love, for spring, you have to have um, a striped shirt, especially blue and white. Blue and white is a classic um, for warmer seasons. So I thought this was a great way to do that. And then the little side stripe detail is just amazing. I actually have, this is really sad. I have a pair of black pants that has the exact side stripe as this, like the exact burgundy and black and white. I feel like I'm gonna wear it one day just to be extra, but it's it's too much. But I, yeah, I love this shirt. This is from Forever 21. Again, this was in my unboxing video. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably would have seen it if you watch my stories. Um, but one of the things I love about this shirt is that it's really oversized. I love a good oversized item, whether it's a shirt, a jacket, a t-shirt. Um, I just love to be comfortable and I love that it's still really fashion. Um, <laughs> so I could throw this on with um, a pair of jeans. This would look great with like a pair of navy blue jeans. Just really, really skinny jeans. And I could probably play around with it, um, do like my the black pants that has the exact same size stripe, um, do some shorts. Let me see, is it long enough for me to wear as a dress? Okay, probably not. But, <laughs> but I could wear it with some shorts. I think I just did that. Maybe like a denim skirt. There's like so many options. Ooh, and it would be great to do this and put like a belt over it and like tie it and cinch it at the waist. That would be really cute. So enough with this. Um, next up is a must, must have for lightest seasons and that's light wash denim. You know, now that I put it up, it doesn't look that much lighter, but it is really light. Um, in addition to that, it's also a boyfriend jean, which I love. Again, going on with the oversized theme. I just think there's something so chic about oversized items. Um, so I mean, granted, it fits me right, but it's like an oversized look. 
right? So these are from Zara. I think I got these last year or something. Um, but these are just really cute. I live for a distressed jean just because it's so chic and so edgy. Um, and it's just an easy way to um, look trendy without trying. Just throw on a pair of distressed denim and a t-shirt and you look edgy. you look trendy just because you have a few rips in your jeans. <laughs> I think my mom, I was talking to my mom about it and she's like, I just don't understand why people buy jeans that are already destroyed. I'm like, it's the style, but they'll, they'll get it someday. <laughs> but yeah, these are a really cute pair. Light wash are just a must have. I'm sorry, that was my <laughs> air freshener. They're a must have for lighter seasons just because it's, um, when it's warmer, lighter wash jeans just are more appropriate. I feel like dark, darker wash jeans are better suited for warmer, for colder months. Um, it's not to say that you can't wear dark wash jeans in the summer or the spring. It's just for your everyday, I feel like you should do a light wash. And you could do a, you could do a dark wash and I probably will still do a dark wash, but the, the ba there has to be a balance where if you're doing a dark wash jean, then you wanna do something that's more weather appropriate or more spring or summer appropriate. So like for this, I could do a dark wash jean with this shirt just because the shirt is a little bit more seasonal. Um, so enough with that. I talk about florals, so I'm probably gonna skip that one. Pastels. You cannot have spring without pastels. It's just impossible. Um, and quote me on that. Um, speaking of pastels, this is just a nice cute blouse and there's nothing like super trendy about this blouse. It's just that it's a pastel color. Um, same with these pants. And I actually think I might do a monochrome look with this. Um, just a cute pair of like slim pants, nice for work or for like going to church and other places. Um, and this is just another basic pastel top. And where's this from? This is from Express. Gosh, how long ago did I get this? This is from Express and these are from ASOS as well. So yeah, just pastels. You just have to do, you have to have pastels for spring. It just, it doesn't make, it's not spring if there's no pastels. Like that's how important pastels are in spring. Um, next up is you need to have a good set. Like a good like ensemble, a top and a skirt, a top and some pants, a dress and a matching jacket. Like you have to have a set. It's just not right if you don't. And I'm just being, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it's, if we're talking spring and summer fashion, a nice set is important. Um, so this is just a cute one I got. This I got last year um, and I've worn it a few times. I just haven't really posted it on the gram, have I? I have it. But this is really a really cute um, silk-ish, because I'm pretty sure it's not real silk, but silk-ish shirt um, with matching pants, which are really cute. Um, again, elastic waist, drawstring nice and paper baggy and paper baggy because they're like a little fluffier on the top except they don't have the paper bag um, waist but yeah really cute and slim at the, at the legs and nice oversized shirt um, which is totally cute have i worn oh, i'm pretty sure i've worn this before but yeah really nice and cute i like the length of the shirt again really nice oversized shirt um and one of the cool things about buying a set is you can wear you can wear them together you literally have three outfits without trying right you can wear the shirt with another bottom you can wear the bottom with another shirt and you can wear them together and you have three easy out outfits and that's not even including the number of different options that you can create based on the bottoms and tops that you have but this is a really cute one again oversized shirt which i just totally love and the possibilities are endless. Jeans, white shirts, anything you want to pair with this. I probably won't be super corny and do like a red shirt or like a red pair of pants because I feel like it's too obvious. So I would definitely pair this with some denim, um, with white. Um, what else could we do with this? Probably with some black so the green really stands out. Um, but yeah, if I do anything fun with this, I definitely won't post it. We're almost at the end, and I'm going to talk about shoes real quick, and then we'll be done. Another item that's imperative for spring and summer is a pleated skirt. And again, pastel colored, um, except for the dark pink. But um, this is just a really cute 
item nice and easy breezy to wear in warm weather that way you're not like super hot and they're like a really tight pencil skirt um, but it's just nice and fun and flirty um, this I have worn I think I have a picture of this on my Instagram page um, shameless plug if you don't follow me check it out um, follow me <laughs> at Lucian online but yeah this is a really cute piece I have worn this I think it's on my page right now I've worn it with like a the cropped sweatshirt that I got from H&M and this skirt is from Zara this is from Zara I think I got this last year or two years ago excuse me last year or two years ago um, just a really cute um, item wore with a sweatshirt wore with a denim shirt with a white shirt I feel like you could wear white a white shirt with pretty much anything that's how important a white shirt is even though I don't have that up there but yes um, you can wear this with really anything. I've also worn it with like a black crop top, just kind of go with the waistband um, and some heels. I've also worn it, worn it with sneakers. Um, yeah. And last item but not least is knitwear. Um, one thing with the spring is it's warmer, but it's not like all the way warm. And the poop is today. It's pretty chilly today actually. So you still need your knitwear. But the cool thing is you can be um, a little bit more open with how you wear it not open but a little bit more flexible with how you wear your knitwear and you actually get a chance to show your knitwear because i feel like in the in the colder um, seasons like in the winter you wear a nice a cute sweater but you have to cover it with a jacket well in the spring you can wear a cute sweater dress and not have to cover it with a jacket right <laughs> but yeah i this is like one of my favorite if not my actual favorite uh sweater dress and this is from misguided I think I got this last year or two years ago and I posted this is definitely on my Instagram page for sure um, nice long bell sleeves with the slit and just a cute like fitted um, almost to the knees sweater dress is nice and thick um, which is great because sometimes these like knit dresses can be really light so that's really great um, so let's jump to shoes so a trend that has been like in on trend or in fashion <laughs> for a few years now is the platform shoe. So, ta-da! It's funny, one of my friends saw, saw me wear this a couple of days ago and was like, oh, your Spice Girl shoes. I guess the Spice Girl shoe trend is back then because these are hot. Um, I think Stella McCartney was probably one of the first brands to bring it back to the scene, or maybe I'm just making it up, maybe this is the first one I noticed, but I just know that Stella McCartney did a lot of these, especially she had the um, platform Oxfords, um, which are really cute, and this was like a couple of years ago, and I feel like the trend hasn't really died down. Um, we, we went from the platform to the chunky sneaker, and the chunky sneaker is still on trend, but also the platform sneaker is coming back, I think, along with the whole idea of a chunky shoe, um, so yeah enough talking <laughs> these are from steve madden but i think i got these from dsw because dsw also carries steve madden items and these are really cute they come in black as well and silver but i went for the um it looks like white but it's more of an off-white and then just like a white and navy blue and like the pink or blush uh stripes at the bottom which, which are just like really cute so that's one of the one of my spring slash summer staples. You're probably gonna see me with another platform item just because I may have already ordered one. Um, but that's it, just two platform items and we're done. <laughs> All right, um, speaking of neon, well I wasn't just speaking of neon, but we've talked about neon already. And these are another nod to neon. Um, again, I'm not terribly sold on actually wearing neon as a serious outfit. I'm sorry, I just can't. I can see people doing like ensembles of neon. I just don't have that kind of courage and boldness in me <laughs> to do that. So I prefer to be more subtle with it. That's why I opted for some neon shoes. I know I tried it with the t-shirt. Um, I'm still waiting for you guys to actually see me wear this. I hope I actually do wear it. If not, it's gonna end up in my donation pile. But yeah, I love these. I got these from Topshop, which were a really um, surprising, pleasantly surprising um, buy. Um, I was a little bit worried because the strap is plastic and it tends, plastic, plastic stripes tend to be uncomfortable, 
but these are actually pretty comfortable and they have like the elastic um, elastic straps which are really cute and not, I'm all for a barely bare shoe. I have pretty big feet so I feel like barely bare shoes um, are more flattering to my feet so you will barely see me with something just like super busy um, just because I like a bare, I like barely bare shoes so these are really cute and the square front is another trend that's coming back which is cute. I don't, I don't mind those. Um, yeah, these another spring summer must have. Speaking of sandals, have these strappy numbers, and these are from Steve Madden, um, and they're just really cute. I think these I got these from Macy's though, but I don't know if Steve Madden carries them directly or not. But yeah, these are just really cute, strappy sandals. I feel like you can't do summer or spring without strappy sandals. These are a must have. And I love a good like tie sandal. So these were really cute. Um, yep, nice and bright colored. So that's always great. Last but not, but not least, espadrilles. Um, so spring, a spring and summer must have are some espadrilles. I'm covering up what they, <laughs> covering up the writing, just, you know. But yeah, these are really cute. Um, I got these from Macy's, say rose all day, which is not entirely true, but they're a really cute pair. So yeah, nice to wear with anything. I love to wear these with just, these are like my throw on and get out of the house, but make it look fashion look <laughs> um, because they're easy to wear you just kind of slip them on when you're wearing some jeans or a shirt and a shirt or jeans and a t-shirt or some pants or something but these are just like really nice and easy to slip on so yeah so that's pretty much it for um, this video I just really wanted to talk about some of the spring trends that I really like um, and just share with you some some um, recent buys and some not so recent buys um, I I was asked to do a haul video um, but I don't always do those because sometimes I get like I do my shopping very randomly I'm not always buying a bunch of stuff at the same time that's why I rarely do hauls so I decided to switch and start doing the unboxing video so when I get a box of things the forever 21 box is probably the biggest box of items I've ordered in a while just because I get things so randomly I'm always like scouting for stuff that I really like and then I'll hit purchase one day um, so I wanted to just share some of the things that I've gotten recently and some of the things that I've gotten years ago but just things that I will be wearing this season and just talking about like some ways that I paired them with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not so sure if I mentioned where I got every single item from. So if you have like, any questions, make sure you drop a comment somewhere. I don't know where the comments are for IGTV videos, um, but drop a comment and I'll be sure to respond. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.